afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Detroit Tigers and the Minnesota Twins. Twins baseball comes your way next. Riding into the box, number seven. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Yeah, and he's just off the league lead in the batting race. He's in the top five of that category, but he is out in front in home runs and ribbies. So we'll see if he can make a push for the triple crown. Romero is sitting on 49 career pitching victories coming into this one. So potentially looking for number 50 here. Swing hard liner to left center and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Coming to the plate now number seven and if you didn't know he was recently awarded the American League Player of the Month award. A oh, double play ball to second four three and they turn the double play. Digging in number seven. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least so you know he wants to make up for it right here. Grounded down the third baseline to Castro at the bag and that ends the inning. Yeah and in this game you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. 14 to 3 is the final score in this one. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Detroit Tigers and the Minnesota Twins. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. The first baseman. Number Stepping seven. into the box, number seven. Swinging it well so far in this series. He's three for nine. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. Fellas, these twins as they take the field this afternoon. They come in here hoping to make it two in a row as they broke a three game skid with a victory last time out. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, D-Roll? Try to get on a kind of a little mini winning streak here. Losing the first game of this series, winning game two, and hopefully winning this series by pulling one out here today. Next for the Tigers, no number seven. Hey, and he's the reigning no American better. League Player of the Month. Here comes the first pitch. A bouncer up the middle. DeYoung gathers it in. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. Ready now, number seven. Now He's back. 0 for 2 thus number far in seven. this one. Hey, you got it. No one better. Let's go. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit on the ground to third. Zips it to Castro for one. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball again. Number seven. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. Reyes on second. Alford on at first on, with nobody right out. Here. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. Fielded cleanly. To second for one. On to first. So he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. Well, that's why you pay the closer big money. So he can come slam the door quickly when he has to. Two pitches, one out, and that game's on ice. Well done. And the score finishes 4-1 to one today. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Detroit Tigers. Major League Baseball on the show is next. In now, number seven, and what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Yeah, and he's just off the league lead in the batting race. He's in the top five of that category, but he is out in front in home runs and ribbies, so we'll see if he can make a push for the triple crown. 
First delivery to him on the way. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. 0 and 1, here it comes. Hard hit toward the hole. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. So striding in, number seven, runner in scoring position with two gone. First pitch of the at bat on its way. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Chopper to short. Reined in. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Standing in, number seven. And if you didn't know, he was recently awarded the American League Player of the Month Award. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Trout is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Stepping up to the plate, number seven. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. The runner from second crosses the plate. That makes it an 8-3 ball game. Digging in, number seven. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First pitch on its way. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And it's off the wall in front of the bullpen. As he arrives at second without a play. Well, that's why you pay the closer big money, so he can come slam the door quickly when he has to. Two pitches, one out, and that game's on ice. Well done. Eight to five tonight. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Detroit Tigers. Detroit have lost their last five games. They'll attempt to break that streak right after this. Stepping into the box, number seven. 13 at bats in the series so far with four hits. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. And there are the umpires working this one, calling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. You know, D-Roll, hey, Patty right Johnson, here, you know, decent strike zone, but isn't always super consistent. I think that's one of the things that irritates players and pitchers. Yeah, you're going to see a few glares, not only from the offensive guys, but maybe the guy on the mound as well. He needs to be a little bit more consistent. Hit hard, but foul. Get your pitch. I see it driving right the there. The one two. High in the air out to center field. Trout has a read on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Digging in now, now number back. seven. 0 oh for Don't 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And on, that baby. nearly yeah. broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Hey, look at one pitch right here. Come on now. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Alfred on at first. Nobody out. Hey, let it rip. One time. Grounded to short. Jeanette has it for one. On to first, and they get the double play. Now batting, number seven. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. 
Grounded weakly down the line toward third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Drive it deep, big dog. Here we go. Let's go. Popped him up. Number 33 moving to his left. Two down. At the plate, number seven. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Hey, get you a good one up there, huh? Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line hard, but foul. Well, this inning should be over if not for that error. Hey, we'll see if this offense can really make it hurt. Here comes the 0-1. Line towards center field. Trout is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Wow, that's an impressive end to a four-game sweep that comes on the road. That's never easy to do, no matter who's in the other dugout. Pitching and defense game, 2-1, to one, the final score this afternoon. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago White Sox and the Detroit Tigers. Detroit hope to put a lid on their seven-game losing streak. Coming up next... Coming to the plate now, number that seven. No one aboard for him, and two player. gone here in the first. Seven. Pitch on the way. Aye. And guys, you take a look at the White Sox entering play here tonight. They've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. Yeah, Matty, I'm, I, I've been really impressed with this team, especially on the recent road hey, trip to start to it. Time. They're 3-1 and one after four games, playing really fundamentally sound baseball from offense to defense pitching. It's all coming together for this group. And that's through for a hit. Leading off the inning, number seven. And they'll need him to get something going here. Number seven. Get your pitch, drive it. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swing line drive. Hey, That's going to be trouble. He's through first and hustling for second. And the Tigers are in business right away. It's a leadoff double. So quickly into scoring position here. Into the box. Number seven. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Number seven. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run, and he makes the catch. Oh, coming to the plate, number seven. He'll lead things off against the same reliever that finished off the last inning. Well, you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings, but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. Jankowski's there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. This might not have been what he expected. I'm not sure he expected to have to go seven outs to get the save, but hey, he did, and he iced the victory. Eight to one is the final tonight. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Chicago White Sox and the Detroit Tigers. Detroit go to work on ending what's become an eight-game skid. First pitch is next. The amount of hits he's had a rough go of that so far this year let's see if he can turn it around in this one number seven stepping in number seven and what a season he's having entering play leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories Lopez has racked up over 800 innings in his big league career and over those innings he's worked to a whip of just a little over 1.3 so he's a reliable arm in terms of limiting traffic on the base paths the relay and he's able to hustle his way up to second coming to the plate now number seven and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here here comes the first pitch down the third baseline 
But a foul ball here, 0 oh and 1. Come on, let it fly right here. Grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 oh and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. Hit hard towards go. center, and that's a base hit as the run will come in from third, and the Tigers have drawn first blood here. John Forto. He's running. Pitch inside. The throw is not going to get him. Digging in and looking for more, number seven. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this number appearance. Seven. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Digging in once again, number seven. Two-for-three with a double on his line so far. First pitch of the at-bat. Line towards center field. West is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Next up for Detroit, number seven. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes this the other way to right. Jimenez is there to make the catch and they'll escape the bases loaded jam. And everyone on the team can finally breathe a little bit easier tonight. They finally snapped that eight game losing skip. Hopefully they can get on a roll now. And the score finishes four to one today. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Detroit Tigers and the Milwaukee Brewers. Now in the box, number seven. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Yeah, he's just off the league lead in the batting race. He's in the top five of that category, but he is out in front in home runs and ribbies. So we'll see if he can make a push for the triple crown. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Dan Dero, these Brewers, as they begin play here this afternoon, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Hey, that's nice execution. Digging in for his second at bat, number seven. One for one after a single his first time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three, and they turn the double play. Now at the plate, number seven. A hit in two tries so far. All right, come on now, one time. Let her fly. First offering on its way. Lined is short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. Ready for another shot now. Number seven. He's working on a one for three thus far. Hey, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. Outfield in the no doubles defense. Now the first pitch. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. After it is Soler. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. A 2 0 finish today. Milwaukee jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Corbin Burns earns his team leading 11th win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Baskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.